Yep. No, we're called their posse. Posse. You know my posse. posse. No, not for us. Had a posse? Yeah. Yeah, they give me courage. Let's uh, go to Mike. Mike, you're on the air. <laughs> what up, y'all? Hey, uh, actually, I was just wanted to hold on so I could talk to that big mama. <laughs> you want to wait Anna. for Anna Nicole? I thought yeah. you meant. I thought you meant Artie. Ah, no, no, I'm talking about sexy mama, Anna. Yeah. yeah Anna's gonna cool? be in. Here. Anna's out in the green. Yeah, sure. Anna's Anna. uh, gonna be in here. Anna's gonna be in here in just a couple of minutes. She's uh, you know, just getting herself settled and. Uh, you know, dialed up a little bit. Cool. I wonder if her, the father of her kid, ever shows up in the TV series. Yeah, they got the the, the TV series. I <laughs> I, I got to tell you, so I saw the Anna Nicole Smith show, the one that's going to air Sunday on E. Uh huh. I think this is going to be huge. Um, I have never laughed or actually never <laughs> stared at something. My girlfriend and I watched it last night. Beth and I watched it last night, and we. Beth just said, "I want to be Anna Nicole." I just cannot believe it. It looks like fun. Uh, no, she just. <laughs> she just couldn't believe it, and I couldn't believe it. And we, and when it was over, we were like, "It can't be over." And we gotta see more. Where's the rest of the show? <laughs> I will be there every week to watch this. I ain't. I believe me. I'm not sitting there saying because it's on E. He's got plenty of shows that I, I don't you promote. Don't watch. This Make thing's, sure you rate her camel too. You're not kidding. This thing is a home run. I got rid of that guy. Uh, He's in love. She's going to have an elk toe, I think. <laughs> I got to tell you something. I've never seen it. When she's laying in bed, she goes going, I love my paparazzi. I love my paparazzi. <laughs> and then she she says, I got to go. She's looking at houses. And after they show her three houses, she's exhausted. And she starts crying because she can't afford one of them to rent. That's and then, silly. And then she... And then she she starts screaming, I have to go home and masturbate. <laughs> nice. And and then she goes chasing her dog, and she gets stuck you under the table. You don't go home with her nice. when she's uh, pleasuring herself, do you? No, you don't see that, oh, but okay. you see enough. You, you just going house hunting with her is enough. It's her, exhausting. Her getting stuck under the table sounds like the funniest thing. Yeah, she's I chasing wanna, the dog. I want to see that. And she's like, ah, oh, oh, And she always has people helping her in and out of her car. And, Why <laughs> do all of these people have these little dogs, though? She goes, oh, oh, the little dog. And she chases the little dog, <laughs> and every minute with the little dog. Anna! Anna! And she goes in to look at somebody's house, and people, like, it's someone's house, and she's just, like, jumping on the furniture and, oh. and jumping into the tubs, and the realtors don't know what to do with her. The whole thing's out of control. Then she calls her son up, and she's, like, talking to him like he's three. Funny Poor as boy. hell. I tell you something, reality television, where it's at, because you know what? I'd rather watch Anna Nicole Smith any you day. You can't make up stuff like yeah. this. Yeah, I'd rather watch her than Jennifer Aniston yeah. being on Friends pretending, pretending to be, to be someone. Goofy, yeah. 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 Without question. It's all, real stuff is always funnier. And she's so, uh, so comfortable with this camera on her that you sometimes forget the camera's there. You know, you forget that you're watching. On TV? Yeah, I mean, no, you forget that. Like, like, you really do think that she's forgotten the camera, and you're just not aware that it's a television show. You just get caught up. You get sucked up into this exhausting life. That's a talent in itself, because you say some guys can't help but ham it up, you know? I mean, learn No, I think it's a general unawareness. <laughs> but wait a minute. Does she ever get impacted by real That's events? Like, did the oh, 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 11th oh, happen okay. for her? She's driving with her lawyer, whose right. name happens to be Howard Stern. It's not right. a joke. His name is Howard K. Stern. Yeah. And he goes, Anna, they're on their way to this guest jeans thing. Uh-huh. He goes, Anna, you know, some terrible things are going on with these Jews and stuff. <laughs> and she goes, what? What's going on? Oh, my. Wait, wait, wait. And, she, and then he goes, well, you know, like in Israel, what? She, he goes, in Israel, a lot of these guys are coming over and blowing themselves up. Why would they do that? Because doesn't that hurt? Oh! And then, oh, and then on. Howard goes. <laughs> Howard goes. It's it the greatest conversation ever. <laughs> I'm in love with her. Oh, stop! This that. show is going to be fifty she times. She doesn't know about the suicide bombings in Israel. No, N never heard about it. Oh my god! He broke the news story, and she was very upset. <laughs> oh dear! It's unbelievable. Wow! And she travels with a full-time lawyer. And then she's got some other broad traveling with her. I don't I know. I know they're supposed to be like a nanny or something. Do you see the nanny with the kid? Oh, is that who that is? I think so. Like a personal assistant who takes care of the kid and her. I love the kid. The son I love. And I feel, you know, I feel like he could be taking care of them, quite frankly. Who is going to rescue this child?
I will. All you saw was one episode? He was like, yeah, one episode. And you saw all this. So all this. Going on. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. I thought it was an hour. Because I've learned so much. And it's only a half hour. She packs it all. And you know what's cool? So Anna's have gotten very heavy, but she eats. Like, like she she doesn't, doesn't. Out there. I got to Everybody watch the show. Are you that, Howard Stern? The, the biggest show on television. You Are think? you excited about the show? Do I oh. think? Yeah. How about I know? Okay. Somebody hey. help Anna with her headphones. Yeah, fix it, Howard K. Oh. Stern. <laughs> Your headphones upside down. <laughs> Are you not here? Yeah. What about September 11th here? Oh, come on. Of what year? Howard, please. Anna, quiet. do you know what happened on September 11th? <laughs> what? Yes, you didn't hear about wait, 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 wait a second. Yeah. Don't Howard, see. This is why I didn't want you in here. Lock you up Howard, I'm going to lock you up. I'm going to lock you up. We watched it. Howard. Oh please! Oh. I can't have him in here. <laughs> I know. I didn't want him in here. Okay, I'll tell you what. If everybody else disappears, what and a, it's just what? Anna and Howard. Okay, fine. fine. Nah, we you won't come do that. out still won't do it. with me. That's how much we want you out of here. You won't be quiet. You're ruining her. You can't take over her show. Oh, I won't. Do you? Does he annoy you? Don't take over this interview. We don't want to hear from you. Come Sit on. quietly while I talk to Anna. Hearing. All right. Anna. What? I, the show is dynamic. Okay. Because you're not afraid to show us your life. No, I'm not afraid. You see, first of all, Stuttering John came in and said to me, why is Anna doing the show? She's rich. People don't know. You don't have a dime, right? Well, I have some money now, but I didn't have it. <laughs> Even though you won that case uh, several times, you don't have any money. Well, it takes time to collect your money, you know. And plus, there's a contention, right? In other words, you won in one state, and then you lost in the other. So the, it's all tied up, right, in another legal case, the money that you're supposed to get from your marriage. Yeah, it's just all tied up right now. I mean, do you know what's going on in the case? Yes, I do. It's just a matter of time. You're going to get the money? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So once you get the money, it's a whole different story. Yeah. How much money is it? A lot. Do you know it's how like much? It's like hundreds of millions of dollars, right? How much are you going to get from the from that old dude? A lot. It's not even decided yet. We have a He's we have a judgment in the district court and we'll How are you with the lawyer I on it, right? I think there's a better chance. Yeah, I was one of the lawyers. I think there's a better chance the number goes up than down. So like hundreds of millions of dollars. That's what we're hoping. Wow. Wow. We but think that's what he wanted her to have. But you needed some money in the meantime, so that's why you agreed to do the show, right? The TV show. Well, I, I didn't need to do it, but I needed to get out of the house, basically. You wanted a job. Well, I didn't need a job. I needed to get out of the house because I was too depressed. Right. Why What's were you depressed? depressing you? Why are you depressed? Seriously. Oh, I've been going through litigation for seven years now, and... Um, it hit me hard going through it all over again, and I was just in my bed for six months, just laying there. So. Now, on the TV show, it appears to me that maybe sometimes you take uh, antidepressant medication. Is that true? It's not true. I always seem like I'm drunk when I'm walking. You do. You always seem I high. Do. You I see, do. I do seem that way, but that's I'm not. an act. <laughs> that's. No, That's who I have she is. Texas slang, and it just ah. it, it makes me seem like I'm stoned all the time. I You're not high it. right now. No. What do you think, Howard? Do you think she's high? It's I don't hard know. to say. Because I thought on the TV show you were high as a kite. <laughs> I wasn't, though. I was not high. I really? Saw, I, told you, I saw some of the promos, and I thought, what's going on there? I, when we all saw I that. I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, my God, I look so stoned. <laughs> but that's what's funny. Yeah. It's a funny show. You know how the Osbournes are funny, and Ozzy doesn't know why it's funny? Right. You're funny in that way also. I don't, You've got that ability. I don't see it. <laughs> I know. That's great. But that's don't, the best part. <laughs> you're not trying to be funny. You're just funny because you sound high and you seem high. <laughs> I get high watching the show. When she saw that show for the first time, when we all saw it for the first time, she turns around and she goes, now I know why everybody always asks the question of, are you high? <laughs> are you taking drugs? A couple of my favorite parts are, you're, you're laying in bed after you come back from the guest jeans promotion and you're laying there and you go, I love my paparazzi. I love my paparazzi. I love when they call my name. That's very honest. Yeah. I like Most people it. go, oh, I hate the paparazzi. Oh, I love them. You like when they take your picture. They've never gotten in I like the way. It turns or... me on. Yeah? Yeah, it turns me on real bad. 
And I like how you, you admit that after an exhausting day of looking at houses, you need to go home and <laughs> masturbate. Yeah. You're a very sexual woman. Absolutely. And you admit in the show that you haven't had sex in two years. I know. Is that that pathetic? How are you keeping your hands off Howard K. Stern there? Yeah. Hey, how do you know she is, Robin? <laughs> she said two years. <laughs> and is there you know, anything I sexual? I a big old giant box of toys I play with. <laughs> big old vibrator? Yeah. Yeah. Is it lonely? Yeah, it's pretty lonely. Are you looking for a relationship? I'm looking, but it, it's kind of hard to look when you're at home. Well, yeah, there's nobody there. <laughs> when you say, now I know part of the court case was that you had sex with that old dude that you married. And everyone. Hey, hey, do not talk about that. You know, we were at why? this Oscar party. And, what did and I talk one of your about? guys comes out and asks this question. He goes, What's it like to have sex with a 90 year old man? Yeah, so what's wrong That's with saying that? That's inappropate. Can I say something, oh, Howard? I'll tell you something. About I don't. The divorce no, no. And all yeah, that. you could talk about my divorce. I'll talk about anything. But I'll tell you something, Anna. I don't think it is inappropriate. I think. I've had Mark Harris on here who was married to Martha Ray, who was 90 years old, and he said he had sex with her twice, and he said it was good sex. Why is it bad for Anna to say she had sex with her husband and it was good or bad? Hey, she already uh, said that on one, on one of your shows, and it turns out to be uh, an exhibit in a lawsuit. So what? What's wrong with saying that she had sex with her husband? Why is that a bad thing? Is it a bad thing, Anna? No, it's not a bad thing. Aren't you tired of people saying you didn't love him, that you just did it for the money? Yes, I'm really tired about that. So what's wrong with talking about the love that you had for this man? I had deep love for him. Yeah, so is that is, a problem for you, Howard K. Stern? Yeah, why is hey, there a problem? That's not how the question was phrased. The question I, is, I you didn't even let him finish Objection, the question. Objection, begging and begging. I said to her, how, first of all, a 90-year-old guy can't have that much sex, so she's got to be horny as hell. How do you know how much sex he could have? Yeah, how many yeah, times have you been 90 you know, hours? <laughs> why, did you... He uh, was uh, a little what, frisky. Was he really? Yeah. You were able to have lots of sex? Well, not lots, but... I mean, did he... He was very happy. Oh, but did you have to do most of the action, or was he... Yeah, I did most of the action, but he was he he liked it. He was very, very happy. I bet very you know how to please man. a man. Oh, I can't oh, yeah. imagine yeah. him being unhappy. <laughs> he was a little frisky, Robin. <laughs> Wait till the next man. He's going to be dead. <laughs> I bet. Was he able to please you? I mean, in, in every way? The first no, one's dead. No, but, you know... I'm hoping when I'm 90 I could please someone because I haven't been able to do it up until now. <laughs> you think it'll get there? You got another 42 years. <laughs> Howard, how can you see with the hair? That's the question I have. All right, you be quiet. Yeah, Howard, okay. very annoying. <laughs> how do you Thank hang you. out with him Drink all day? Drink your red wine. the old guy. Now why? I know why you you're hang out depressed. With this yeah. lawyer. You're hanging out with him. How could <laughs> you be having any fun? It's depressing. Well, Howard, t discuss your life. Why in the in the show you're with Anna 24 hours a day? It appears. Yeah, I'm part of her posse. Okay, you're an attorney. I assume mm -hmm. you have other clients? I do. I have a law partner who, who deals with most things. And you now go off with Anna everywhere and don't devote any time to your law practice? I'm good. That's I'm pretty good. much how it's been. <laughs> so you know what? She needs more than one lawyer. She needs like five times full lawyers. Uh, what is it? You will be paid five full time. You will be paid when Anna gets her settlement? <laughs> is that, that what you're waiting for? It's public record right now. All right, so answer my question. We're contingency. We are contingency. So if you're contingency, in the meantime, how are you making a living? All right. It's tough. Is E paying it's you tough. as well? Are you paid to be on the show? You know, I'm paid something. Yes. Not much, but something. Do you not like being a lawyer? Is that it? You want to just uh, become part of the Anna Nicole show? I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that after this is done, I can still practice law, but who knows? The way things are going, it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. So, Anna, what do you have to give? A bit too much. You have to give one third to uh, Howard K. Stern, right? Your attorney. No. It's not one third. I thought most no. attorneys get a third in Howard a settlement. Howard K. Stern does not get one third. That they, it's one third for all the lawyers. All the lawyers. They have to split it up. So you will lose a third. Yeah. Of the settlement. Right. Now, would you continue to do the TV show even after you get all that money? Yeah. You like doing the TV show. Yeah, I love the cameras. You do. Well, I forget about the cameras on the TV show, though. You do. I, I, you are amazing. You do forget about those cameras, I and do. you bring us into your life. I do. It's terrible. <laughs> Did you see the part where you talk to your son? You talk to him as if he's very, very young. Well, do you, he's my baby. <laughs> yeah. But and he's how old now? 16? He's 16. Yeah. Wow. Seems like a, a bright kid. Yeah, he's very nice bright. Nice kid. Yeah, a straight-A student. Really? Yeah. Wow. 
He's my little sugar pie. <laughs> my little sugar pie. My, my little pumpkin sugar head. pie. My now, it looks like in the coming attractions, you go to a strip club. Yeah. And there's there's a, like five strippers, like not only lap dancing you, but climbing all over you and almost having sex with you. I know. And imagine me not having it for two years. Whew. So you like chicks? No, I didn't say that. You do. <laughs> I didn't say that. You like girls. I didn't say that. Oh, you're not saying well, it, I was but I see it. I'm very horny, and I had all these women jumping on top of me. I'm very horny, but I don't have any guys jumping on me. So you go both ways. You're gonna no, have to see I didn't that episode. Say that. I am. Why? And how it started. How did it and start? You see the the one little clip, but oh, well, you'll get to it. Is you'll Howard to there all show. the time? I'm there. Yeah, I'm oh yeah, how is it? You know what? They cut, they're able to edit five. him out a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm in that group to of five. He's he's Put with her. Some tape over my screen. I also he's covered in pictures. You have to see open. these. You have to see these realtors <laughs> going house hunting with Anna and Howard. Oh dear. It's too much. <laughs> Yeah, and I also too, like but what happened to Kim. She was supposed to come in with us. Yeah. I also like the fact that you eat during the show, that you don't oh, disguise. I saw that too. <laughs> but I like that. I mean, you've gotten heavy, right? And the fact yeah, of the matter is, weight. you gained a little weight, and you don't try to disguise your eating. No. Because you eat a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you don't you don't try to sugarcoat that. No. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why even try, why even uh, hide that? I, I forget, like on the camera, I forget. <laughs> now, someone told me that you uh, also, uh, people are telling me that you sleep very late. You sleep till like noon every day. Is that true? That's true. Right. I'm a late sleeper. You're a late sleeper. But how do you support yourself in the meantime? You haven't gotten the money from the lawsuit. The e-show will pay money, right? Yeah, they pay pretty good. They do pay good. Yeah. Boy, that's a surprise to me. Really? What happens if the show's a big hit? Can you go back in and renegotiate? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Oh, I think you're going to be in a good position. Good. I don't think people will be able to take their eyes off this. Okay. Now, you were on top of the modeling world. You really, I mean, you have one of the you most. You took it by storm. You yeah. are one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. You're, when they make you up and you go to that guest party, and I see your face, you've got a beautiful, beautiful face. Thank you. You were top of the modeling world. Did you sabotage the modeling because by getting heavy? Like, did you say enough? Why sabotage that? Because that had to be a big money earner for you. I didn't sabotage it. It's just like I said, I got really depressed um, with the litigation, and I just, you know, got a little bit heavy. Would you ever have one of those operations where they uh, keep you from eating? You know, they put a ring around your stomach? Your stomach or something? No, no, I'm not that heavy. No, you're not that. You're not clinically obese or anything. But I would you do it? I just need to drop <coughs> a few pounds. It's going to be easy. Do you think you're going to do it now with the TV show? Yeah, you I'm, I'm going to go on a diet now. Well, that'll be an exciting part of the show, yeah. to watch you get thinner every Do you week. work yeah. out? Yeah. Well, so, I just started, so I've been working out for probably three days. <laughs> Very oh, good. Cool. <laughs> well, hey, it's the beginning. I can see the results. <laughs> you love to wear sexy clothes, too, on the show, the first episode. You, your yeah. boobs are... And I understand that you, you love to get naked yes, a lot. Yes, I do. And, and the cat... They they're don't trying know to, what to do, because half the time you're naked and all the <laughs> they're, film. They're trying to figure out on E. What to do with the footage, yeah. Yeah. Is uh, Howard in there when you're naked? Yeah. He's seen sure. you naked. Yeah. Your lawyer has seen you naked? Sure. You just walk around the house naked? Yeah, it's my house. And so does your son see you naked? No, he, oh, okay. he lives downstairs, so he's got his own private little house. Are okay. we going to see your friends? Uh, the friends of your son come over? Do they come over to the house and hang out? Uh, is your son prominently featured? No, he doesn't have his friends come over to the house. I think he's probably a little bit embarrassed at his mom right now. You I was going to so? say, maybe the other mothers don't let the kids come over. Well, not, yeah, too many moms, really. not too many moms have a camera on them 24 hours a day. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, the moms say, you know, you're not going to Anna Nicole Smith's house. Right. The show yeah. is a half hour. Right. Do the moms in the neighborhood give you a hard time? Do they think you're, like, dangerous or a bad mom or something well, like that? Well, I just moved to this neighborhood, so I don't know yet. Yeah. But in other neighborhoods, how's it been? No, it's been, pre it's been good. I mean, everyone likes me. Does your son ever say to you, hey, mom, can you, can you chill out a little bit because the kids won't come over and play? Well, he doesn't like me to come to his school. I was going to say, how's the PTA? <laughs> Mom, could you, could you not call me not sugar pie in front of the other kids? Why? Because you wear sexy outfits and provocative, uh, you have provocative language? Well, because he says his kids always say, oh, I like your mom's hooters and stuff yeah. like that. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. It doesn't make, he, he it, doesn't doesn't make it easy. Like what is your Baba Boo? You know, it's funny. I heard that Howard K. Stern is like so involved in their life that Howard goes to... Um, like school on behalf of her son, almost like a like, like a, a like a dad. Yeah. Oh, you heard that? Yeah. I, I take his test. That's how he's getting his straight A's. <laughs> he, is, he is a straight A student. 
But, you know, I do have a question for Howard Stern. You know, um, Anna did, like, Fox News and Good Morning America and Regis. How, co- how come I didn't see you sit next to her in any of those shows? Yeah, why Why you know, here? There's you... one show that she needed protection in, and that's the Howard Stern. Show. Why and does she need protection? So far what, why here, Why Howard. do people say that uh, she, I think you want to be on the Howard you Stern know, I, show? The, the Sarah Geller, or whatever her name is, when she was on here yesterday, her comment coming out was, she's just glad to get out alive. Well, oh, come on. You, why don't you admit you want to be a celebrity? In, uh, you want to be a celebrity. That's really, why you're sitting here. Tell the truth. You know, it so goes far. with the name. All it's right. the name Howard Stern. It's fairly interesting to me that you have like about five people, including your lawyer, who like will go everywhere with you <laughs> and your assistant. I mean, the people are devoted to you, right? Right. You are their life. Yep. Is that what keeps you going? Yep. I guess. I don't know. I'd, I'd be going if I didn't have them. I have my son to keep me going. Did you ever want to kill yourself? Did you ever get so low, so depressed that you said, I want to end it all? Well, you know, you get those thoughts in your head. Well, I did a few times, but I got my son to take care of. He gets them out of my head. You've never attempted anything like that? Oh, no, no. So uh, so sexually, after your marriage, you've never been with a man since then? Nope. Why, though? Are you, you kidding? Well, well, I was with one man. Right. But. What happened that, there? That didn't last. He left you? Yeah. Were you in love with him? Yeah. Why did he leave you? I don't know. What do you look for in a I man? I think that he he um, thought that he couldn't um, fulfill my needs. You demand sex sometimes up to ten times a day when you're in a relationship, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> ten Isn't that times true? a day? You read yeah. That glove, you huh, Howard? That, uh, Is it true? That's a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay, okay, no man can satisfy that. I mean, you're an infomaniac. Yes, you I need can. more than one man. <laughs> well, bring it on. Bring it. I don't understand hard. why. You certainly, uh, b- lots of men want you. Where are they? <laughs> right here. Hundreds yeah, Artie of millions do of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, stop it. No, so, I love her. <laughs> so, so when you go to these clubs, you're telling me that no men come on to you or offer you oral sex or, or, or anything <laughs> like that? No. Nothing. Nothing. Nobody talks to you? No. Oh, my. So tell me about the rest of your day. The cameras are sitting there. Mm-hmm. You wake up at 12 o'clock, or maybe earlier now. Right. And, w- and, and I would think if a camera was on me in my house, I would feel very self-conscious sitting there and reading or cooking or whatever. I mean, I would feel compelled to do something. I'm so used to them. It's like I don't, I don't even know they're there anymore. So what happens after you wake up? Because you, you don't really go to a job, right? You don't have a daily job. Nope. Do you have meetings with your... Legal team? Yeah, I mean, what are we going to see in this show? I mean, I've seen one episode. It was great when you look for the houses. Um, just, I don't know, different stuff. Do you what go out do? and party every night? Not yet, but I plan to. Now, We've gone out your, and partied a couple times. Is yeah. your son a big part of the show? Um, he He's uh, kind of sort of not that big. He hates the cameras. So I see. Okay. Mm. I kind of have to fight to get him in there. Well, it's going to be uh, some show, because I'll tell you what, I'm there every week. Any chance of making it a daily show? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like there's enough material, based on what I saw. I don't know. You have to ask E about that. All right. Let's go to a couple of phone calls. Joe, you're on the air. <laughs> Listen, Howard, I'm uh, an ex-city cop, and I just want to say uh, thanks to your um, shows around September 11th and all your support. You're one of the few uh, public figures that do support city cops. All right, thank you. But talk up to uh, Anna Nicole Smith. Sure. Actually, I just want to actually ask you a question. Why is it every time you talk to a fat chick, they always say, I just went on a diet or I just started working out? What about that? Why can't you just be happy with your size and not... Uh, I am happy with my size. It's everybody else that's bugging me. Are they bugging you? Do, how do they bug you? What do they say to you? You have to lose weight. Did your doctor tell you you have to lose weight and all this? No. They just tell me I'm bigger and, you know, just like you I said. Think yeah. Yeah. Right. Like you well, no, no, no. You, you've gotten bigger. I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't think that's a shock to you that you've gotten bigger. What are you eating? Are you eating a lot of food or you have a slow metabolism? Um, I have a slow metabolism. Really? Yeah. So you don't eat that much. At one no, point in the show, that much. you were eating a lot of junk food. I thought like chocolate or something like that it looked like. No, it was, um, it was some sort of Persian candy. Some sort candy. of Persian candy I was trying. Right. Persian candy? Yeah, we yeah. don't want to talk about that. No, uh, I'm not why a not? fat chick, you stupid fireman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, Joe? Policeman. He was a policeman. Policeman, whatever. Yeah. Oh, you tell him, baby. Yeah. Where'd you grow up again? You grew up like in the backwoods somewhere, right? Uh, yeah, in my head, Texas and Houston. Yeah. Rough childhood? 
well, we won't go there. Well, oh, but that bad, huh? <laughs> Can't even talk about it. Yeah, I noticed like your mom or your dad is not on the show. Mm. Will yeah, we I see them? You, what, how old were you when you got married the first time? Um, so I just turned 17. Yeah. Will your mom and dad be on this show, or do you have such a bad relationship? No. No way. No. You're not, when's the last time you spoke to them? Well, my family is my son. Oh, really? That yeah. bad, huh? Yeah. Uh-oh. I'd like, I'd like to see that encounter. Do they ever call? Do they ever try to get in touch with you? I don't talk about that. Um, I heard I heard a rumor that when the money first came through that there might have been some people trying to get in touch, and then when it wasn't so sure the money was coming through, they got they out of got touch. They got out of touch, and now they're back in touch. That life? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry about that. I feel bad for you for that. Well, it's a life. Well, no, it's not everyone's life. It's my life. Wow. You want to cry on my shoulder? <laughs> Any girlfriends? Do you have girlfriends who will be on the show? And Well... <laughs> Anna, actually, I can tell you a little bit about that. Yeah. I'm looking at the show. First of all, Anna's got a, a, one of her closest friends is her her assistant, and Anna apparently is incredibly generous because I'm looking at this article and they said for her assistant's 21st birthday, she gave her a laptop computer, a pendant from Neiman Marcus, a manicure, a pedicure, her first bikini wax, <laughs> and paid off her Jeep Cherokee. Wow! And that when Anna had to what go article to, uh, are you looking at? Is that true, Anna? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Well, Howard, why are you saying it's a lie? No, I didn't say it's a lie. I said, what article? We've never seen that. It's from, it's from the Globe. Yeah. But, it's, it's the, but she's saying it's true. Everything. Well, it's true. Well, and, and oh, her, I now her, know the article. And, her, and uh, it also said that when Anna had a 14-day uh, a hospital stay, that the assistant was there the whole time going down, getting her breakfast, which it says... What were you in the hospital for? Depression. Man. And you're not on anything for no, that? No. You go to see a shrink? I was, but I got off of it because it put some weight on me. Yeah. And what about the shrink? You go to him still? Yeah. So will we see that? Oh, you got to do that. Yeah, I'll be able to see that. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, 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 hold it. You're telling me you, your shrink sessions are videotaped as well for the TV show? It looks like it. Wow. Oh, my God. That's he, amazing. She is generous. That's going to be great. <laughs> You're telling me on the e-show <laughs> we're going to go into the psychiatrist's office with you? Are, are you I'll telling me? You. Ah, you're too funny. Got to watch the show. You got to friggin' be kidding me, baby. <laughs> you stupid fireman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're kidding me. And the, the shrink says that's okay? Well, if I say it's okay, it's okay. Wow. It's you calling the shots. If it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> well, it is okay, evidently. Yeah, I've got to get my head in order. Yeah. Oh, you do too, honey. I think your head's just fine. You're going to be a big TV star from this. People are going to be talking about you. Are you going to be able to handle it when all this fame comes pouring down on you? Oh, I did it before. I'll do it again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, have the are you getting movie offers still and all that stuff? Yeah. So we'll see you going on yeah. go we'll see and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're going to see you auditioning and stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, great. great. Well, I usually don't aud audition. I usually just, just get called to something. go. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll see her doing some work. Hey, hey, Howard. Yeah. We'll see her on the set. Yeah. Yes. What do you want, Gary? The, the other thing is that apparently Anna inspires fierce loyalty in her people because her assistant has a tattoo of Anna on her shoulder. That's oh, about yeah, you'll her. see. Her assistant really loves her. Your people love her. But I you. was just asking if she has, like, girlfriends, not people who just, you know, like... Not sex, but just her. friends. Just friends. I have one other girlfriend. Do women not like you? Are they intimidated by you? Um... I don't know. I when I go out, they um, love me. I mean, I don't mean the public. I mean, do women ever want to have a personal relationship with you? Are they intimidated by your beauty or your fame, or or are they just? They usually want to get busy. They want to have sex with you. Yeah, really? every woman. Usually, yeah. Oh my goodness. So they're like guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So when you get busy with them, is it fun? I don't get busy with them, Howard. You get busy with chicks. Don't lie to me. <coughs> no, I don't, Howard. You Why do you think you do she better. does, Howard? No, nah, she likes girls. You could tell. You never you know. You can tell. What do you base I'll that never on, tell you. Oh, you'll tell me. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll spank you. <laughs> oh, please do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a spanking, baby. You need something. I'll tell you that. That's oh. all you need is a good spanking. Oh, yes. And some pancakes. <laughs> oh, no. What's wrong with you, Artie? <laughs> quiet, Artie. So yeah. Be quiet over there. <laughs> That's Artie. He just wants you. Oh, okay. I'm He's trying to come on to her for the trauma. <laughs> with pancakes? Yeah. I don't think so. That's oh, Jersey oh. trauma. We have more calls for Anna than 95% of our guests. Everyone. Right? Everyone wants to talk to her, so let me uh, pop through these phones. No more firemen. No, no more no firemen. More uh, either. No more dumb firemen. Okay, Andy, you're on the air. <laughs> hey, what's Howard? What's up, Howard? I got to ask you a question. She doesn't have any idea about September 11th or anything? 
Yes, I do. So she didn't know about the Middle East conflict. And, and you'll see it in the first show. She was unaware that uh, people were blowing themselves up to the Jews. And on top of that, this boy is just throwing a saddle on his horse and riding her around. Oh, come on. Be oh, quiet. What's the matter stop? with you? Is that that dumb <laughs> fireman again? Yeah, let's go to... Uh, <laughs> dumb fireman. Let's go to William. <laughs> come on. Hey, yeah, go ahead. Great show, man. Thank you. Uh, Anna. Uh, you know, I like sex a lot, and, you know, I am ready to bang you, and I just want to know <laughs> if, uh, if the, the penis size is important for you. What about penis size, Anna? When penis you're... size is not important. It's is that really true? It. Is that really true? That's really true. No kidding. I, no I... kidding. There's other ways to play, baby. <laughs> well, there sure are. Thank Anna. you. By the way, that's Anato an Antonio Banderas. But it, I don't want no <laughs> big old giant penis. So Anna, you I'm... like calming guys? Do I like what? You like calming guys? I like any guys who likes Wait, me. Wait, what was the word? <laughs> what is it? kind of guy is he? What Colum kind of guy? Colombian. 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 Any guys who has interest in me, I like. Wow, that's really amazing. Uh, that's a great call out to a lot of different guys. Did you ever feel, Anna, because women do get close to their attorneys, did you ever feel any sexual feelings for Howard K. Stern? No. 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 Oh, Jesus, you're so, you're so you can tell horny. She lies, huh? You're so oh. horny for any man, but you don't have any sexual any feelings. Any man but him. He's like my brother. I mean, we fight all the time. You're not sexually attracted to him at all. No, he's no. like oh. my brother. It's the Howard Stern Seriously, thing. we, we fight all the, the time. Lust. You would have made it with that Colombian, but not Howard Kisto. <laughs> oh. He's a stupid Jewish man. Yeah, they have he's to have a pulse. My brother. <laughs> they have to have a pulse, but it, they also can't be named Howard Stern. Yeah. I see. <laughs> all right. All right, let's go to if if Howard K. Stern came to you one night, you guys you guys were out drinking and all that, and he said, "Listen, I'm really horny, and you know, no strings attached. Can I just have some sex with you? Would you allow him?" No. Really? It's just he's too much like my brother. It's I, I could down in Texas. That's not taboo. <laughs> <laughs> your brother's your brother's Jewish. <laughs> Mason Dixon line. It's funny how you said you. I just could. The next day, I probably wouldn't be able to look at him. <laughs> so you really won't do any guy who wants to do you. That's not any true. Any guy except for my lawier. Okay, and that there would you be go. like you and Robin probably getting together. And nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm ready be for the it. Problem? What's Has the problem? The <laughs> problem is she doesn't want to make it happen. <laughs> We've never been single at the same time. Vinny, you're on the air. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, have to well, do I gotta answer a question. Two questions. First, does she like anal adventures? And two, how long it took it to devour John Goodman? Oh, did you have sex with John Goodman? Funny man. No, I didn't. Oh, oh I see. Oh, you're trying to make a joke. All right, what about anal? <laughs> <laughs> Is there, are you open to that sexually? Um, I'm open to anal. You are? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you're a party, aren't you? Everybody's in play, huh? Everything's in play with you. You are sick. <laughs> you like that kind of thing? I told you, I'm a very sexual, frustrated woman right now. Mm -hmm. I'm open yeah. to a lot of things. After what do you think years, about? I'm learning new things. What do you think about when you're pleasuring yourself? Who do you think about? Um. You don't think about that old guy you were married to. Sometimes. sometimes. Do you really? Yeah. Sometimes I do. Just different things. Who's who's past the... experiences? Have you met any celebrities that you're attracted to? Um, Brad Pitt or Buddy Epps. Half a musical. Are you talking about half when you? <laughs> Have you ever had Stop made? It. Did I'm you ever gazing. make love? Did you ever make love to half? <laughs> no. Did he approach you about it? No. Too young. He was married. Let's go to Colleen. Colleen, let's go. You're on the air with Anna Nicole Smith. The new show is going to be on E. Premieres Sunday night at 10 o'clock. I predict it will be huge. You've never seen anything like it. Go ahead. You're on the air. Anna <laughs> needs two things. Okay. She's a beautiful woman. She is beautiful. She needs to lose some weight. All right. She'll do it. She needs a very long, hard penis to knock some brains into her head. Why do you say that? <laughs> hey, do you feel better she, now? Do you feel better yeah, making do you feel her better day about bad? Yourself? No. No. What she's beautiful. She is beautiful. Well, what's your it, job? There's a... What am I? I'm yeah. an assistant manager at a restaurant. Oh, wow. But you have brains, okay, no, right? No, <laughs> How long have you been at Wendy's? Doing well. <laughs> Not Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, you know me so well. Oh my God, I these brains. Anna, right. said, Anna said she's going to lose weight, and she's going to do it. Yeah. What's your weakness? What's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food. Pizza? Soybeans. <laughs> Soybeans, no. They can't be. Yeah, Pizza game. really yes. good. Howard, I read an article that said that her favorite food is, um, is Cheese Whiz. Really? Cheese Whiz. Cheese whiz, whiz. On oh, that's le way old. You don't put Cheese Whiz on pickles? No. Who doesn't? I used to put them on crackers. 
Well, let me tell you something. Here's one cracker who would like a little cheese whiz on him. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I wish you luck with the show. I think you're going to be in good shape with this thing. Thank I you. I think this is going to set off some sort of national pastime. How many of. episodes are they doing in the first season? Um, I don't know. It's going to be 13. Yeah. 13 in the She 13. doesn't know how great is <laughs> hey, that. Hey, take it easy, Artie. How, how great is that, though? Uh, hey, we're followed by cameras know. all the time. Shut so. up. Artie, you're so it. bad. Shut up over there. It's just it's a little Shut puzzling. Up. It's called the Anna Nicole Smith Show. You don't know how many they're doing. Well, hey, how many, how many shows math. do you do a year? Like 100. I just, I like 100 or exactly 100? I don't have a show. What are you talking about? If I had the Artie Lang Show, I'd know how many episodes. Well, you're on this show. Yeah, but it's not my show. Have you censored them f at all? You let them in your bedroom? Yeah. You do? So when you're pleasuring yourself, we'll see that? Oh, maybe. <laughs> But really? is there any time that you can imagine saying, shut off the camera? Oh, gosh. I'm in the bathroom. I already forgot a few times. <laughs> you did? So they have uh, you on tape moving your bowels? Oh, God. <laughs> really? <laughs> so embarrassing. It is going to no. be the greatest show, man. Come on. How could it not be? <laughs> so hold it on. You're a great chick. You are so bad. Oh, my goodness. you got to start that. remembering to tell them to shut them off. Stop man. that. Stop it. I Stop have it. indigestion. Stop it, you dumb sound man. Give me some roll aids. Wow. Well, listen, I, I think the show's terrific. Yeah. Um, yes? <laughs> Someone talking? Yeah, I'm just curious, because, Anna, you seem like you're very sexual, and you do want to have sex. Yes. But And you seem like you're willing to take any guy that wants to offer it, that likes you. They have to have a job. Hey, uh, Benji has a job. No, I'm being serious. If a guy offer offered you right now, take you into a room, give you 10 minutes of oral, what would you say? I'd probably jump on it. Let's go. Okay. Benji, you'll do it? Go yeah. ahead. Anna, I'm right sorry. in that room. There's a private yeah. room. Very There's sexy. a room right I think over you're here. You're very sexy. <laughs> you want to give her oral right I think, now? I think, I think she's guy. one of the sexiest women we've ever had on the show. I'd love to do it. You'll do me oral. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. All you see? Right, let's go. All right, go ahead. Take her. You can take, use my private room. Bring your toes <laughs> This is a reality show, hey, no, too. No Anna. problem here. <laughs> Hold on. Did, wait, do we get the e cameras in here for this? This is Benji. Benji, say hi to Anna. Wow. I know I'm a little chubby, <laughs> but I'm very good at oral. Howard, see me do it. I saw him do it on a girl. Oh, He's real good at it. Yeah, she likes it. Is Open he? your mouth. Let's see for. Uh, you have any, any diseases? Sort of... No, no, absolutely not. Anna, you got any diseases? No. Let's go. Mm. Come on, we'll <laughs> no. try it out and see what happens. Okay, wait till after my. Right. Where's yeah, she's yeah. going? We'll take your headphones off. You talk a good game. Come on. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you said you would. Okay. You might need a few oh, red bowls. Go ahead. Well, it's about time you had some sex. Benji, that's nice of you. And Anna, that's nice of you. Go ahead. <laughs> Here they go. This, uh, oh, my God. She's going with them. This is, the single, <laughs> this is the single greatest moment in the history of my life. We don't have enough cord. Who is that? I need Do to we hear. Have cameras in there Can I hear a show? No cameras, but There's no put camera. the microphone oh, in. Tell ben, give Benji the microphone. Look at that. So it's, it won't reach. <laughs> Wait, we're getting. You're Benji, wireless. just in case you're listening. Oh, my God. Benji just took Anna Nicole in the bathroom. <laughs> this is the private fantastic. room. Hey, Marcus, get I a hear video a camera buzzing. in here. What's going on in there? What is that? Does he have a vibrator? I think he's using his toothbrush. <laughs> he's got to use it for something. Is that the, what is that? What is that? What's going on, Casey? Do you, do you hear a buzz or something? Yeah, yeah. is that a vibrator? Fred, that's not you, right? I, no, I no think, it's, it's, I, it's this light up here. That's what it is. Okay. Oh. Ask Benji if he could bring the mic in with him. Benj, let me give it his mic. <laughs> what do you mean, no mic? Just take it. Come on, take the mic, dude. Howard K is fine with this? Benji's busy. Hey, you know what? Anna makes her own decision. Oh, well, it's a good thing you were here. <laughs> wait, you just, wait, don't, <laughs> yeah. don't mess him up. Maybe we'll hear some moaning All through I the door. All I can say is if Benji's got any diseases, it goes down to you, Howard. Thank you. What? He might. I don't know. Okay, hey, get that get out, out of there. Get that mic out of there. <laughs> what, what is that? That's the microphone it's breaking the up. It's the light. No, it's just, it's this thing up here. Hear it? Oh. But that mic is making a lot of noise. Yeah, get rid of that. You, you want to use a different one? Ask him what's going on in there. Oh, this is real exciting for your listeners. It sure is. What happened? <laughs> get me a mic that works. This is this is radio history. Yeah, yeah really. Turn off that turn off wireless that, mic. Turn off the mic. Turn off that wireless mic. <laughs> Something's still happening. They're they're in there for a long time. Well, flick it off. Flick off the actual mic. Turn it off. That's it, Gary. Turn it off. But if you turn it off, it's gonna make the noise. Just turn it off. Thank you. All right, Casey. Yes. What's going on in there? See if I, you can I find out. I don't hear anything. Hey, Bench. What's going on in there? We're talking. Oh, they're talking. Don't talk. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> Benz, let me just put this mic in there on the floor. That's all. No, ruin it, Casey. Go to ruin it. You're ruining it. You killed it. Can you hear him? Ask Anna Nicole what's going on. Gary, ask Anna Nicole if everything's all right. <laughs> Maybe I should get up in it. Uh, you sit still. Yeah. She's Howard a K. Stern. Woman. Yeah, but maybe she'll talk to Howard K. Stern. No, she won't. She'll run out of there. He'll take her out of there. <laughs> Benji might be lost. Anna, are you okay? Anna, are you okay? <laughs> yes, she said yes. Get away. Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to get. He must be good, off. that kid. <laughs> Benji's go Benji's uh, into what? that whole oral thing. I got to tell you, I've seen his work. Yeah. And he's. He's good at do it. Do you really think they're doing <laughs> Yes, I do. Absolutely. Oh, my God. How do you guys learn to perfect 100%, that? I believe it. You know what? He just proved something. <laughs> All you have to do is ask. It's true. And beyond the Howard Stern show. She, ooh, but you but, should. Wait, here she comes. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Was it good? Oh, no. Her hair looks all muffled. Her hair is a... Uh, oh, I don't think it, anything. Benji, Benji wait a second. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Be honest. He's got lipstick on it. You were making out. We kissed a little bit. Right. Anna Anna told me she was uh, on the period. Right. Oh. So what? I, I, said, I said the same thing. I said the same thing. Anna was nervous, which I, it's yeah. the first thing I saw, so I didn't want to force I her into nervous. it. I think she really wants to do it, but she doesn't want to do it under these conditions. Yeah. She doesn't like being in that little room. She what, a like... toilet? You know what, Benji? It's hot. It, you know that's Howard Stern's bathroom. Yeah. How was the making out? Did you tongue? Um, lip. More lip. More lip. Yeah. You like Benji? Yeah, he's cute. Oh, maybe nice. you two should yeah. exchange numbers. How he's long supposed you to be good at oral. I know, but it's the... Benji, here it is. It's the bathroom I, thing. I, I, Propose. I, she doesn't, I she wants agree. a more romantic If I could hang out with Anna for an hour, it would <laughs> probably be the greatest hour of In my life. In your life, yeah. <laughs> of your life, anyway. Right. Well, uh, what hours are you comparing it to? The one before this one. <laughs> Once you kids are in commercial, go up to Tom's office and do it in there. Oh. On the <laughs> there <you go. laughs> All right, listen. Anna Nicole, I hope you find love with Benji. I would Benji love could be a part of the show, too. If you want to take him with you. Could I take you out tonight? Yeah, you can take me out. Really? All right. Thing is, we're finally. Back. Oh, we are yeah, today. Yeah, we're flying back today. Oh. Plane. Oh, on the plane. don't believe how it came. Can. can Benji fly back with you? <laughs> he wants to be your boyfriend. Yeah, he can fly back with me. I'd love to just maybe take you out for an hour in the city somewhere. Yeah. Or in a room in the city somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere where it's not has a toilet in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't uh, blame you. Yeah, somewhere where my bathroom, ha <laughs> my <laughs> apartment <laughs> has no toilet. You don't have to worry. Yeah, he shares a toilet with the floor. <laughs> Well, you found love here today, didn't you? All right. <laughs> yeah, one problem solved. <laughs> All right, look. I'm not sure what just what happened, but uh, Benji, you finally got a girlfriend, and Anna, you finally have a boyfriend. Wow. All right. And you found love on the Howard Stern Show. The Howard A. Stern Show. Uh, okay. A for asswipe. <laughs> That's me. Anna, did you have a good time? Yes, I had a great time. Found me, it was miserable. I found me a cute little boyfriend. Yeah, now what's going on with that? I don't know. It was going to be a long distance relationship. So do you think there was a love connection between you two? Yeah, I definitely think there's a possibility there. Okay, and we, they went they, you seem like you were a little nervous coming on today. Is that all over now? Yeah, I wasn't nervous coming on. Okay, so thanks for coming down and good luck with the show. Thank you. Hey, this is Anna Nicole Smith. I was on the Howard Stern show today, and I had a really good time. And I made me a little love connection, and I had a, just a really fun time. Um, what did you think about me? I thought you were great, and I loved your little kisses. Thanks. Do you know my name? Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's Benji, but like the dog. But you can yeah, call me Benji. Benji anymore. <laughs> Benji. <laughs> so, are we really gonna get to hang out today before you go on the flight? I hope we can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. I got another interview, but. Okay, because Doug said he could help arrange that we could have lunch together. If that's okay with everybody. She's got interviews. She's got interviews straight through. If to I have time. Range. How about at the airport? If I have time, I would love to have lunch with you. All right. Um. All right. So hopefully, I'd really like to see you. That Howard K. Stern is a real... He's in the middle. He's a real C-blocker. What's his problem? I think he digs her. I yeah. think that, like, someone said to me on the strip show, when Anna Nicole Smith's in a strip club, Howard K. Stern 
they were saying he puts his hand up her, her shirt, but really, I, I didn't see that. He's a pain in the ass. Howard, there was just a whole circus downstairs. It's like a hundred people downstairs, like a whole tons of camera crews and stuff, and everyone was taking pictures of Anna. And who was right next to her? Benji. Howard, Howard K. Stern. Oh, Howard K. Right. Stern, yeah. It wasn't for the cameras. And I bet you it would be, uh, he's going to try to block any kind of a love connection with Anna yeah. Nicole, so he can always be right by her side. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's the thing. You know what? Yeah. Get Benji. Once can I give married. you a big news flash? Yeah. Benji has just been invited to Anna Nicole's suite at her hotel. Does he have a cell phone with him? Uh, we'll give him a cell phone. Go get him they a cell phone. They want to do it right now. The limo is waiting. Oh, She's oh, waiting for him. Get him out of here. We'll get him down there. We'll, that's right. I'm telling you. And tell give you. him a cell phone. Don't quick. brush your teeth. <laughs> get going. He said, "I got to brush my teeth." Come you on. better get out. Who of has here, to brush you? his teeth? Benji says, "I got to brush my teeth." Get out of there. I told you Wash he your may ass. be a genius, <laughs> but he's not funny. Hi, so Benji, Benji, what's going on right now? I don't know. Like. uh... I met this Anna Nicole shit, Smith, uh, today, and uh, I had a feeling if I came on to her, she'd be, she might go for it. Um, and she did. I'm sure did. And this doesn't happen a lot for me, so when a chick goes for it, I, you know, you gotta take the opportunity. Joe, you're on the air. Uh, sorry, Joe. Uh, what Joe. What happened today? I mean, you think about it, you guys just totally blew it for Benji, man. He was in the bedroom. You had it on the, all you had to do was just like kind of sneak him the microphone. It doesn't make it such a big deal. You blew it. You could have made radio history today. I love Anna. Yeah, well, we didn't blow it. He walked in without the mic, and we were just trying to get it back in there. What is it, uh, Robin Rosinski? Turns out Anna Nicole was mic'd, so in just a few minutes, we will have audio from the bathroom oh, for good. you. Oh, good. Anna Nicole was mic'd, oh. and we will have the audio. Yeah. So we get didn't out of here. blow it. We <laughs> didn't. to play that. I'm so excited to hear that kind well, of stuff. stay yeah. tuned. This stay whole... tuned. Thank you. Bye. We didn't blow it, Marconi. Calm yeah. down with your radio notes. Howard Stern show doesn't blow it, dude. Yeah, we don't blow it. Yeah. You blew it! <laughs> can't wait to hear that tape. I can't wait to sniff his fingers. Oh, God. I'll pass on that. <laughs> Benji's expensive now. <laughs> I know. We won't be able to afford it. What's the update? The, the tape is amazing. I'll really? have it for you in about a minute. Wow. So it's CD. It is so real. Wow. And it's, it's uh, but Casey also said it's really creepy. <laughs> yeah. Benji's got, like, you know, Benji's not, you know how we know him as a shtickmeister? Yeah. There's no shtick, man. He's trying hard. Can we have that? Let me take a break and then have the tape. We'll play the yeah. tape for people. Yeah. And then, and then also, it's, they, you know, somebody said it sounds like, remember when you were 13 years old and you go in the closet with a girl? That's right. what it's like. The guy's banging on the door. And Benji's, wow. like, he's, Benji's like laying down, you know, he's like trying. You know what? That's a great chick for him. It is. Absolutely. They're both crazy. Yeah. They I think a perfect match. And Casey is the typical guy who would have been banging on the door, like, come on, man, let me put a mic in. <laughs> Dude, I think I, I see beat him. I, I really do. <laughs> yeah, you, you see you, you see blocked him. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I, he, I think he could have got something if I didn't bang on if the door. If you weren't banging on the door. I can't wait to hear this tape. Let me take a break. Nick DiPaolo's here. Yeah, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna go give someone oral in the bathroom? See, you know, you're, you thought yeah, you were Benji. crazy. You got, you got any other billionaire blondes coming in? I'm in the hotel. Um, Anna's went to pee, so she's in the bathroom. So we're in this hotel lobby, and I guess she's coming out. So here she is. So they're asking me how I feel about while you're peeing, and I said, well, I feel great. I feel great that you got to pee. Yeah. I feel you'll be a happier uh, person so now. So much better. So what's next? I guess we get to hang out for a little bit. Okay. In case you weren't listening, we had an amazing thing. We were interviewing Anna Nicole Smith, who's got a uh, reality show coming out on E! Sunday night, and one thing led to another, and Benji... Yeah, reality struck here. <laughs> reality struck here. Benji <laughs> said he'd go give her oral in the bathroom. They went in the bathroom for a while. Yeah. We didn't know what was happening, but it turns out Anna was Mike, so we do have it. <laughs> I got it right here. This is great. Let's hear it. Let's see what happened. Are you not? Oh, I don't care. You want to do it just a little bit? Did you just massage it? Like no. Uh, oh, I think I've always been like the sexiest chick I've ever seen. Like, I've had a fan since like 1990. Really? I swear in my life. Oh, you're sweet. Yeah. Uh, no mic. <laughs> yeah, we we should have just left him do his thing. Oh 
He was doing good. He's the sexiest thing I ever saw. He's good. He's had a thing since 1990. He knew the year. She said she was on her Perry. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he couldn't uh, perform the oral. He said, I don't care. I don't believe she was. Was that lipstick on his face? Yeah. (laughs) I checked. I smelled his face. Making out. Yeah. I'm nervous. I am. Yeah. It's okay. He told her it was okay to be nervous. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like he says that to a lot of children. <laughs> <laughs> you nervous, aren't you? Uh, aren't you, Timmy? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I was nervous my first time, too. It's okay. okay. Just think how nervous I'm going to be when I walk out of these woods alone. <laughs> it's okay to be awkward. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Benji's in the car with Anna right now. Oh, okay. Bench. Howard? Dude. Hey, how you doing, man? All right, what's going on? I'm I'm in Anna's hotel room, sitting next to her and her her uh, dog, Sugar Pie. Is that mm-hmm. that lawyer dude out of the room? Uh, ha- the other Howard is not here right now. Good, because he's the real scene. A lot of guys around, a lot of people around. Cameras. A lot of cameras. Our cameras, their cameras, hotel cameras. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Let me talk to Anna. Okay, CNN. Hold on one sec. What I really want to do, maybe you can help this. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to hang out with Anna alone. Maybe cool. just the cameras, but no other, you know, people. All right, hold on. All right, let, well, let me talk to her. Are you up for talking to Howard? Hello, Howard. Hey, Anna. Hi. Be honest with me. Are you digging Benji? Yeah, I'm digging it. He really digs you. I could tell because I could just tell. Oh, really? How can you tell? He's just having trouble sort of connecting because there's so many goddamn cameras around. Oh. And people. Other people. people. Can I make a suggestion? I think that lawyer dude, that Howard Smith dude or Howard Stern dude, uh-huh. I think he like kind of blocks anything from happening because he doesn't want to lose you in a way. He's not here right now. Oh, good. Because someone told me on that show where you guys go to the strip club, he puts his hand up your shirt. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See, I think he's into you. No brother would do that. Uh, yeah. Do you think so? You think Howard's into me? Yeah. What do you think? Really? What do you think? I don't think so. We fight way too much. But why does he put his hand up your shirt? Because we were really, really drunk. But guys don't fight with girls they're not interested in. Right. Really? Yeah. So I think point. he's afraid of losing you, and then if Benji becomes your like husband or boyfriend, he's That's afraid that he, he's going to have to answer to Benji. Uh oh. But anyway, I, if I can step in on Benji's behalf, if you do have feelings for him, he's saying it's ha- it's really difficult to get to know you with everyone around. He just wishes, even if it was just the camera guys, if it could just be you A and little him. Time alone. I know, but how am I supposed to do that with my job? Well, the, the cameras can be there, but maybe kick a few of the ancillary people out. Well, I can try. Yeah, you know, like a closed set sure. sort of thing. Like a closed door kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, closed door where, like, most of the people leave except for the cameras. Yeah, the door closed. That's what we want. Then he could put some moves on you. <laughs> well, yeah, I think he's having a... I, I, can, I, I would be intimidated with all your friends watching. See, I forget about the cameras. I guess yeah. I can't do that, huh? Well, he can handle the he camera. He can handle the cameras. He could Benji could do it. I think it's all the other friends that are around. Yeah, who are those other people without cameras? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Government officials. Yeah, out of town. Hey, baby, I think you did a real good job on the show. Thank you. Well, I think that you were very sweet to me this time. I think I was sweet to you last time. You I think said you, it the last time. Yeah, you, I think you just didn't like the way it looked on TV. It looked horrible on TV, and you kept playing it over and over and over. <laughs> well, that's not me. That's your... Th- that was E! That's E, not me. Oh. I got nothing to do with that. I just taped the show. Well, it was awful. Well, tell yeah, them. A few days later, my husband died. Oh. I know. It was awful. Well, Benji wants to console you. <laughs> the kid claimed... That I, I talked to some chick he gave oral to. She said he was great at it. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Kathy Lee Gifford. Hey, give him a kiss. <laughs> Anna, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss? Yeah. Okay, I will. Let me see. Right now. Right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, she digs him. I know. They might be perfect for each other. He's really sweet. All right, let him, let him, give him a chance. Okay, Spend a little time with him. All right, baby. Hello? Hey. Hey, man. Well, good. You better get to work, man, and just ignore anyone in the room and keep working her. I am. Do you want, you know, I, what I would really love to do, and it's easier saying this almost on the air, because well, she knows I'm on the air right now, I'd love to just go lay down in the bedroom. Just give you a little massage. Are you up for that? 
Maybe. She might be up for that. Right, so just do it. She's up for it. All right, man. She doesn't care if there's a camera. Take charge. Get some wine. Get some wine? Wine. wine. Oh. Champagne. Get some alcohol. Something. That's what that, she wants right. a party. By that we mean heroin. <laughs> hey, for the record, I now believe she dug that old guy. Mm. For real. Well, Howard says now for the record he totally believes you dug your husband. Absolutely. The old guy. And she says, of course she did. And I believe it, too. I see it in her eyes. Well, I see it because she's with you. Oh, thanks. Right. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, Ben, you're missing the point. Oh. <laughs> he sees bragging. Yeah. Good point, Howard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Ben drinks. You don't want to drink. Maybe we get a... Do you like beer? Cocktails. Tequila? Cocktails. What kind of cocktails do you like? I don't really drink. She doesn't really drink. Ask her who's more attractive. Who, what? Ask her who's more attractive, you or her ex-husband. All right, but... Ask her. Okay, Anna, who's more attractive, me or your ex-husband? No, her former husband. I have to say, like, my ex-husband. She says her ex. No, which, no. which husband? I think the one that passed away. My husband. She says her husband is more Okay, he says she is, but that's cool. I mean... She goes, well, how much you make, Benji? <laughs> yeah, maybe. What? Yeah, but the guy was 90 years old. I and he's still more I'm attractive sure. than Benji. I mean, physically. I mean, she loved him, right? They have the same when head. When you love someone, they become attractive. All right. Well, maybe she could learn to love you and find you attractive. <laughs> Howard says maybe it doesn't work. mean that you're not attractive. It doesn't mean I'm not attractive. All right. Well, good for you. Hey, watch this. I'll prove you for once and for all, because you always say I'm lying about this. What's something that's nice looking about me? Oh, I think I'm off the air. Oh, she said it. Off what? the air. Oh, am I on? Dude, yeah. this is the hottest chick that you, you could ever get. I, I know it's the hottest chick. By the way, she just said I have very nice eyes. So so can go, you tell them that? Just go, go rub her very down nice and stuff. Oh. Go rub her down and stuff. <laughs> Turn Howard, around. Oh, me. Anna. <laughs> yeah. He really wants a shot with you. He's, he's smitten. Well, that's good because he's really cute. Let him give you a massage and stuff. Let him Give him a shot, will you? <laughs> I'll give him a shot. That'll be good. The merging of our shows. I'm on E, you're on E. Wow. And he's a crossover. It's a natural. It's a natural merge. <laughs> you're silly, Howard. Then we have a little spin off show. You know, sometimes. Right. Synergy, synergy. So I'm going to hang out with Anna for a while, yeah. Yeah, let his fingers do the walking. <laughs> That's true. You know, sometimes someone on the King of Queens will go to Everyone Loves Raymond. Absolutely. Yeah, right. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Cross pollinate. Yeah, right. we're, doing, we're doing it within our own network. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Go ahead, Benji. Very incestuous. And Benji, get on that plane with her if you have to. All right. And we'll talk hey, to you. I can fly back home with you if you want to. You can put me in your little doggy bag or something. <laughs> I hope she's got a big doggy bag. <laughs> she has a great dog. All right. Go ahead, man. All right. All right, man. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Call me if anything happens. I think he's got a, ba I think he's got a better shot at the dog. I bet you he'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Let me finish that bathroom thing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Are you staying in your life? Yeah. I don't want to today. I'd love to give you a massage. Can we just give you a little massage? Can we take a little massage? <laughs> this is the most unbelievable porno. Oh, this is crazy. It's disgusting. It sounds like somebody's peeing. There's yeah. A toilet running in it's the back. Yeah, Why is so that dripping? I think that's her. <laughs> yeah. That's that's for me. That's I've listened to it five times. Clearly, the best part of the tape is a toilet running in the back. Yeah. No, that's my, my 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 bathroom doesn't shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Dallas for a year. What do you say? You, I grew I, up in Texas. I, I used to live in Texas. Now. Dallas for a year is what he just moaned. <laughs> We're talking, man. We're hanging out. <laughs> no, we are ruining it, Casey. You're ruining it here. <laughs> you I can't look at guys. I got a girl in here. Ma. You're ruining it, Ma. Hey, he's working at you. So pretty. I want to give you a massage. Oh, oh sounds like psycho. Anyway, I, I, like I a got a, a vision of one of those uh, farmers who grab the guys in. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, it sounds like he's got her in a pit. Yeah. It's like delivering. Yeah. Yeah. Say, John Wayne Gacy's had this exact conversation. You, you don't know what real. pit is. You look real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Hey, let's I'm slow. Deal with people here. Yeah, let's go slow down. Thank you, man. I can take it again. Yes. <laughs> wow. I'm fine. Are you scared like that? Don't know. What do you say? Are you scared? scared? People. That they'll know what really happened. He's yeah. smart because he's like, you know, bring her into his world. Here. You want to go somewhere else? Not in here. Okay. Oh, God, that toilet. <laughs> Chicks are a pain in the neck. <laughs> Very romantic. Not here in this smelly bathroom? <laughs> no. Quit. How come chicks can't be like guys? Who, 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 I don't even notice it's a bathroom. I wouldn't even know. Yeah, Benji doesn't hear it running. Girls are like, not here. Benji's like, well, I just let me take a leak and then we'll make <laughs> out. I could care less that everybody missed the bowl. Get on the floor. All right. <laughs> you, you don't. You don't want to make love in this toilet. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> well, romantic the stall opening at the end. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're on the air. Out, I can't take it, man. You get the hot model girlfriend, then Benji gets the hot model girlfriend. <laughs> What's yeah. going on, man? How can hey, I get on that show? We're all we're into modeling here. <laughs> I'm with a model, ma. Hey, I'm with a billionaire here. <laughs> to Anna, and to finally getting to meet you in New York. I was a state champion when I was growing up. I'm trying to get it going. What's the catch? I can show you. I can teach you if we can get one. Is there any way we can get a couple hula hoops? Try. Okay, big boy. All right. Are we going to have a contest? Show me out. I'm going to teach Anna a hula hoop and then try to get her naked.
Go. She gotta get out. So give me a kiss. <laughs> Hi, Benji. How'd your date go? Well, I'm leaving with you and my hula hoop, so I don't know how it went. It sort of started as sort of a joking around or anything, but when she leans forward to kiss, her lips are so fucking sexy. Like when her lips go like that, like she has the sexiest fucking lips in the world. So it sort of started joking around. But man, her lips are nice, so. So all in all, was it a successful date? Well, she said we could see each other again, so I'd say so. And she said she didn't mind that I was fat and short and balding. So, are you happy? I'm happy. All right, Ben. You happy? I'm happy. All right.